Welcome to part five of Raising Your Vibration. Deanne here. Today we're looking at self-confidence. Instead of worrying about what people think of you, how about you start looking at yourself the way you want to be looked at? Don't visualise yourself as your fears and your self-conscious. Picture yourself as you want people to picture you. Forget about your shortcomings and losses and look at yourself as a winner. You're here you're alive, you've got lots going on. Just look in the mirror for a good 10 seconds and repeat to yourself these words. I am beautiful. I am the best version of me. I am who I am and that is perfect. The more you say it, the more you start believing it. It might feel silly or useless, but I can assure you it's not. The more highly you think of yourself, the more confident you'll become and being confident can completely change everyone's opinion of you as a person. Although technically nothing changes physically, people will immediately start noticing the difference in you and act accordingly. Your vibration will be higher and you will attract more of that into your life. So give it a go for at least a week and see what happens for you. Getting out of your comfort zone is especially important since you're basically forcing yourself to pull through uncomfortable moments just for the sake of learning how to deal with new surroundings. This is quite a hard step to take, but it's very much worth the hassle. So for this step, I suggest that you do something different today, something that you've never done before. Have you ever woken up early and gone for a walk or a jog? Have you ever tried to go dancing all night? Why not start now? Regardless of what it is, you need to make sure that you start bursting out of your bubble and interact with more strangers. Put yourself in awkward situations and force yourself to break through. It can be unsettling and even scary, so expect it to be difficult. But once you have achieved this activity, you'll see there is nothing really to fear but fear itself. Even something as silly as saying hello to your neighbour when you see them. Make sure you do it with a smile on your face. The more awkward the situation, the better, because you're eventually going to evolve and become a better version of yourself in no time at all. So choose an action to take today and continue for more and more breakthroughs. Now, this is a very interesting concept because it implies sabotaging yourself to the point where you can't feel the pain of rejection anymore. Jia Jiang has become world famous for creating this interesting social experiment. His idea was to make incredibly unreasonable requests to people all around him for 100 days straight. And after he'd been rejected that many times, he'd be able to handle rejection pretty easily. Being able to take rejection without actually feeling hurt empowers you and your self-confidence greatly. Although it sounds silly at first, this social experiment has proven to be quite effective in the long run. Jia Jiang's experience, for example, has shown him that without the fear of being rejected, he can do so much more now. This is definitely one of the most effective ways to get out of your protective shell, but is almost one of the more extreme. A lot of people would not be able to do this for long, but even doing it for a couple of days has shown to make a difference. Just remember that though this is extremely hard to accomplish, it also does have a high rate of success. So if you're really lacking in the self-confidence category, then this might be for you. Helping someone is definitely a way to forget about our own problems because it forces you to ignore your situation for the moment and concentrate more on what is happening around you. We all have something we're good at, so why not share that knowledge and help someone out, either by doing it for them or showing them how. It's a great confidence boost and puts things into a whole new perspective. It can even help you become more appreciative of what you currently have. Now, I'm not saying you should seek out people in need to think or of yourself as superior. What I'm saying is that you should purposefully teach, mentor or train those around you to the point where you no longer think about your shortcomings. Instead, you think about how much progress these people have made thanks to you. Think less about yourself and more about the impact you've made. Just be careful you don't use this as a means to escape your own problems. This is about changing your perspective on yourself 
in a healthy way that benefits others. This is definitely a rough step to take, but the evidence is clear that it helps a lot. First of all, you need to identify your flaws, but instead of dwelling on them and letting it hurt you, try to find ways to fix them or accept them. We all have darker aspects to ourselves, but do they impact our lives or other people? If yes, what can you do to change that? If no, then learn to accept that you aren't perfect and let it go. This is pretty hard at first. Once you get the gist of it, you should have no problem with becoming the best version of yourself. Maintain your hygiene, eat healthier food, make sure you don't waste a lot of time doing nothing. It may sound silly or redundant at first, but the best way to fix your problems is to face them head on. Unless you want them to ruin your self-confidence, you need to make sure that you no longer give your power away to your so-called flaws. It is simply an equation that looks like this. You take away flaws equals self-confidence. One of the main problems that most people have with low self-confidence is the fact that they consider everyone around them as their superiors. They think themselves inferior, which really shows in their behaviour, reinforcing the belief. In order to fix this problem, all you need to do is see everyone around you as your equal. Nobody's better than anyone else, regardless of their flaws. The moment you start to see everyone as the best version of themselves, you'll start to see yourself that way too. You don't need to waste all that time thinking that life just sort of handed everyone a magical superior potion and realise the fact that at the end of the day, everyone has flaws. The main reason as to why these people don't have the low self-esteem you might is because they tackle it the way you are learning to tackle it. So remove the idea from your head that people around you are better than you are. They are not. You just see them that way. And never judge your chapter one against someone else's chapter 20. We all get moments during which our inner critic starts getting the better of us. After we do something embarrassing or make an awkward situation even worse, we tend to end up getting criticised non-stop by ourselves. It is actually funny how no person in this world criticises us more than ourselves, but the result is no laughing matter. This is a serious issue that we need to handle head on to make sure that we don't let that inner voice mandate our view on ourselves. So instead of letting yourself get controlled by the voice, how about you silence it with good thoughts about yourself for once? It might sound silly at first, but it's worth a try. Every time you hear that voice saying you're not good enough or why did you do that, just repeat to yourself that you did all that you could and that's good enough for now. Nobody's perfect and you won't get the final word in every conversation, so don't let it affect your mindset afterwards. You did well. Even if the conversation was a literal mess, at least you tried. So give yourself a pat on the back for that. Everybody has a secret talent just waiting to be discovered. Some people have already found what they're good at, while others are yet to discover them. Some people are good at painting, some at writing, some have incredible memory, while others can sing or dance. Whatever it is, you need to find that special something about yourself and use it as an anchor to boost your self-confidence. Not everybody's talents are as flashy as we'd want them to be. For example, some people are amazing at acting, while others are just really good at video games. At the end of the day, a talent is a talent, and that is something to be proud of. So seek out new hobbies. Look into what you can experiment with and find your talent. The journey might take a while, but just imagine what you can learn along the way. Life is really about the journey after all. Whenever we achieve something, we're always on the lookout for something new. So expand yourself. We all have a thing that we dislike about ourselves and that's a fact. Because of this, a lot of people end up choosing to never look in the mirror anymore, avoiding the pressure of giving the inner voice that we've talked about more ammunition to hurt them. However, this is not the way to deal with it. In order to allow ourselves to heal and get better, we need to wrestle our demons. The best way to do that by facing our problems head on. So pick up a mirror and instead of looking for every imperfection you see, how about you try something different? Like complimenting your hair, compliment your eyes, compliment your face shape, compliment your smile, compliment everything that you can today. 
Do this at least once a day and before you know it, your self-confidence levels will be higher than ever. Just keep saying it until you believe it. This might sound weird, but sometimes a change in clothing can actually affect you in more ways than you think. Instead of doing the same thing you've been doing for years now, how about you try to imitate someone whose fashion sense you admire? Have a mohawk, try a new style of clothing, dye your hair. Experiment with your style and you'll see yourself in a whole new light before you know it. Sometimes we tend to attach certain stigmas to our looks, which is why a change in style can be so beneficial. A fresh new look means a fresh new you. The more we change about ourselves, the more we differentiate ourselves from a person that our inner critic would constantly belittle. So do everything I've mentioned in this and you can have more self-confidence than you've had before. But if you do have any questions, please contact me via these platforms. And I also offer a program where we can really build your self-esteem, boost your confidence and achieve your dreams. So reach out. Bye for now.